be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over some mixing tips specifically on how to get the proper levels on your tracks, okay? Especially if you're a beginner. We're gonna be doing this in Logic Pro. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just let you um, kind of get a preview of this track I've been working on here. But um, in order to do this, I kind of gotta just redo the levels here, you know, cause I already got the levels going, but I'm gonna let y'all, you know, hear this track first. I'll just put it over the hook, uh, over the hook. I'll let you hear the track and then we'll just bring everything down to nominal gain and then I'll show you how to get the levels, okay? This is how it sounds though. cool so basically what you want to do to get started you know I, I know when i first got started man i was um kind of confused on where i should place everything in the mix but what you want to do is highlight or put a loop over the hook then come over here to the top left of the screen and click on the mixer button and just bring all your tracks down to nominal gain I mean, when i mean say nominal gain i mean basically bring everything down to the very bottom okay where it's zeroed out and then what i like to do is start with like the hook i mean with the um drums first what you could do is like um organize everything first you know what i'm saying like put your kick first then like your snare clap stuff like that I mean, just organize it so it makes it easier just to see it visually and then know what you're working with here. And then have your melody at the bottom here. Boom. Okay, cool. So we have everything organized. Once that's done, again, you can start. I will always start with like the kick. Like you mix off the kick. Some people, you know, mix off of other things, but I like to mix off the kick. Just bring that all the way up and just make sure the main thing is make sure it's not clipping. So just we'll go play the kick first. Bet. So now you had a kick, I go for like the snare, clap, stuff like that. So and really what you want to do is don't pay attention to the stereo out right now. It's going to do some clipping but make sure it's not clipping right here you know um you want to mix off your ears and how you hear it you basically want to have to kick the loudest and then tuck the snare and your snare type of instruments right under it right under the kick actually After that, you want to start working with your hi-hats and your like percussion stuff. I would tuck that right under the snare group. So we got the kick going first. It's like going to be the highest. 
and then the snare and like all those type of instruments that are similar then like your hi-hats and stuff so we'll put that right under it Once you get that going, I just would recommend going ahead and bringing up like the, your 808 or your sub or your bass. And you want to, you know, I don't know why that pushed up so heavy. You want to just kind of tuck that under everything as well. See how this 808 is really kind of tucked under everything or hear how it's tucked under everything if you had it up too loud like this is another thing i used to do is to put the 808 too loud and it sounds dope loud but it's just going to start drowning out everything especially when you start bringing in the uh, other melody instruments so i just kind of tuck that under the drums All right, bet. So once you got your drums, and I this, this is a rev, like a air rev. So, but once you got your drums, you want to start bringing your melody in, and really, just the idea for me of what I do is just tuck this right under these drums, so it's just like barely under the drums. So from there, you can just go to the other parts of your song and make sure that it's not like overwhelming and make sure everything is lined up there as well in other parts of the song. So move the um, loop over. Cool. So everything is pretty much leveled out right now in logic. It does clip sometimes like for whatever reason, what you want to do to get around that is basically put your drums in a, in a group and you want to put your melody in a group. So you can put your, like, your 808s, break it down like this, go to this, your, uh, your output, go to an available bus, start with bus seven and we'll put our drums. Plus eight. Then we we'll put our melody. And pretty much you can kind of group it however you want to, but you want to make sure it's in groups so that way you can turn it down here. So I'll just say like 808 drums and melody. And then from here, I can just literally turn this down and this will give you some headroom, the headroom that you're looking for. Then you want to do things like, you know, panning, adding, you know, doing subtractive EQ, you know, adding compression on certain things just as you need it. But for the most part, I just wanted to cover levels in this particular video. Appreciate y'all watching. And if you um, have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also, make sure that you get subscribed to the channel. We have channel perks where you'll be able to watch the videos quicker than everybody else. We also have channel perks where, you know, you'll be able to watch videos that everybody else can't watch. So make sure you check that out. Also, if you don't do anything else, after getting subscribed to the channel, go over to BeMakingBasics.com 
and cop a course, okay? When you buy a course from bemakingbasis.com, man, you're going to be getting game that everybody else is not going to be able to get. I'm going to be showing you all the tips and tricks in detail in those courses, okay? Everything from how to, you know what I'm saying, make some beats, how to make melodies, how to make drum patterns, how to... You know what I'm saying? To put everything together, arrange your music into song format, music theory tips, drum programming tips. You know, we're going in depth on the site. So make sure you head over to beatmakingbasics.com. Also cop that Beat Making Master bundle if you want to get everything. If you really like my videos, you've been following me for a while and everything like that. Get that Beat Making Master bundle. It comes with every single thing I offer. So all my courses, all my sound kits, all of my templates. So appreciate y'all watching. I will see you in the next video and we're out.